Chapter 2, Maintaining the Chart of Accounts. First thing we need to do to look at our chart of accounts is go to our Accounts Command Center and click on Accounts List. Now in here you'll see we have uh, all of our balance sheet and profit and loss items, such as in our balance sheet we've got our asset accounts, our liability and our equity accounts. Looking at our income and expenses, for example if we look at income, you'll see that we have an account here for 110 sales. Now if you want to edit these accounts at any time, you can click on the zoom arrow and you could for example put sales dash uh, equipment just to make it more meaningful. Before I OK here we'll also click on the details and we're going to default the tax code there to GST which means that when we enter a sale if I click OK the account for 1100 will automatically assign that tax code, assuming that we charge GST on all the equipment we sell. Other than editing, let's go to our Expense tab and we'll add an account. Let's say, for example, I want to add an account 61350 donations, and in this example, donations are GST free. So what we'll do is we'll click New, and we'll type in that number 1350, hit tab, and type in the name of the account, donations. As I said, we'll go to the details and we'll make them GST free. And you can see we've added in that donations account. We can add asset accounts as well. Um, in this case here, I'm going to add, if I just scroll down, I'm going to add in a uh, 2400 for some vehicles. Now 12400. We're going to use what are called headers and let's just look at this one first. You'll notice if I double click a header account is simply used in reports in that it's non-postable but it, it looks nice in a balance sheet for example because you'll have that heading equipment you know buildings and so on. So let's add in if I hit new uh, 2400 and I'm going to call this motor vehicles and I'm also going to put the dot there on header. Also when I run a balance sheet I'm going to generate what's called a subtotal so that it will show my asset less any depreciation. So there's a header 12400 and we'll just add underneath it uh, 2410 and we're going to call this one motor vehicles um, which is the stock item you know say it was a Commodore you could even put in the registration or something but we'll call it motor vehicle at motor vehicles at cost and as discussed later we're going to set this as a capital item so it's going to show as a capital purchase on our bass we'll hit OK there and you can see now we've got the motor vehicles at cost and I'll just click new again we'll add in a 2420 and we'll put here uh, motor vehicles and I'll put a dash accumulated depreciation and we'll assign that the NT tax code which it already is so there we go we've got our motor vehicles and our accumulated depreciation set up with a header And I'll click close here and I'm out of my chart of accounts. Now of course you would spend some time going through editing, deleting, renaming accounts to make them suit uh, your business, your trial balance for example, uh, which you'll see later we're going to enter some opening balances.